Okay, so this week we are doing 20 push-ups a day. And these can be done, again, in little five-minute groups here and there, 20 all at once, 10 and 10, you know how it goes. So let's go over proper form and all the modifications you can do. So we'll start with a regular push-up. You're going to get into that plank position that we've worked on. Shoulders back and down, chest nice and open. You're going to tuck the hips under and squeeze the tush and push into a plank. Hands are going to face forward and you're just going to go down as low as you can, keeping this body straight, keeping the um, back in line. Neck is in line with the spine, not up or down. And push back up. Now, if you want to do them on your toes and you're getting tired, just go down as far as you can. All right, so you don't have to do a full push up. Half is fine. The most important part is keeping everything in line so that you don't kind of push up like this, right? So the other thing I like to do, if you're not quite ready for a full push up, but you want to progress, squeeze the tush, chest open, you go down all the way and then push up onto the knees and then back up. You can do them on your knees too. Same, same, knee plank, squeeze the tush, pull the belly button in towards the spine so it's not kind of poking out, pull it in, neck in line with the spine, down and up. Now, if you have wide hands, arms out to the side, you're gonna get a little bit more back work, keeping the chest open. If you have your elbows in by your sides, you're gonna get a little bit more tricep work. So however you wanna do it is fine. You can play around with them too. Now, if your wrists bother you, you can grab some hand weights or just go up on your knuckles like this so that your wrists stay straight and down and up. Hand weights make it a little less pressure on the knuckles. Just make sure they don't roll or you can really hurt your wrists. Another modification is doing it against a counter or desk. Again, we're going to tuck the hips. So pull the hips under, squeeze the tush, belly button pulled in, chest open, shoulders down. Neck stays in line with the spine, down and up. You can do it on something shorter makes it a little harder here and here all right you can even do them against a wall um, any way that feels good I really want you to make sure shoulders stay back and down and that you're really focusing on the shoulder blades coming together and then pushing through your back what a lot of people do is you push forward through the chest and all we're doing there is getting these chest muscles nice and tight so we want to work on our arms and shoulders and back when we're sitting at desks all day, when we're driving cars, on our phones, we're here all the time. So all of our work needs to be engaging our posterior chain. All of these exercises that we're doing and opening up the chest. All right, so that's this week's exercise. Do it every day and I know you're going to see an awesome difference. See you next time.